Okay, the next thing we're going to work on uh, is the oil pump itself. In order to get to the oil pump, we have to remove the engine. Once the engine is removed, uh, we've got access to the oil pump. This is our makeshift oil tank from the machine, because uh, we're going to show you how to test the oil pump uh, and show you how to bleed the oil pump. Okay, just the, the first thing we're going to do is remove the oil pump. We're going to leave the inlet hose on there. Okay, with the oil pump up and out of the way, we can see the worm gear. Um, this oil pump does not work if your clutch is not engaged. So if you're sitting there at idle, you're not pumping oil. This is not a great machine to let you sit there at idle. When the clutch is engaged and the machine is jumping, you can notice that's what's operating the worm gear. Okay, this is the cartridge. Uh, this is what connects the, the gear that operates off the clutch drum. Uh, and operates this little worm gear and it's the worm gear that drives the oil pump. Uh, again, if your clutch is not engaged and the machine is not jumping, you're not pumping oil. Okay? This is a... Uh, <clears throat> this little worm gear is, is an inexpensive little uh, plastic gear. Uh, you don't always have to replace it, but it's strongly recommended. Uh, you're going to be a couple of hours into this job. Uh, it makes no sense not to replace this little $13 gear. So you can inspect it uh, and your decision if you want to keep it on or, or replace it, but uh, I, would, I would suggest replacing it if you were going to be replacing your oil pump. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put this cartridge back on. Okay, that little worm gear is held onto that shaft with a little snap ring. You remove the snap ring, this pulls right off, reinstall it, reinstall your snap ring. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So your alignment is good when your, your clutch drum moves and your worm gear moves. Okay. The next thing we want to do is the oil pump itself. Uh, the way to test this oil pump is by operating the little gear. And when you operate the little gear, you'll see a little bit of oil coming out of the top. We're not, out, we're not pumping oil right now because I've got a little bit of air in the lines. <clears throat> but you could bleed that by loosening the bleed screw. If you're installing a new one, you want to take that screw out and you can just see the oil starting to come down there. Once it starts bleeding out of there, you'll see the oil coming right out of that spot right there. Once the oil starts to dribble out of there, I'll just put that screw back in there. That's how you bleed your pump. And to test your pump, go ahead and rotate that little gear. Uh, Wacker says if you're putting on a new pump, uh, it should take anywhere in 20, 20 to 30 rotations before you start seeing oil come out of the output nipple. See it coming out okay? Yeah. That's it. Once you see the oil coming out, you know the oil pump is primed. You can go ahead and stick your new gasket on. Put your pump back on. Torque specs may differ between models. So if you're unsure what, uh, what torque this should be, just give us a shout, shoot us an email, we'd be happy to get you a, a service manual. Torque this to the proper amount. That's it. Oil pump is installed, you've got your new gear installed, everything is done. The oil system, it's not a very complicated system, it's got the low oil switch, it's got the ignition coil that detects when the circuit is open and it'll shut the engine down. You've got the check valve and you've got the oil pump. It's only a few components. Um, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching.